Good morning, everyone. This is Rifkel. We are playing some more Final Fantasy VI T Edition. Rum hack that adds a bunch of extra features to Final Fantasy VI. And we're gonna try to defend Narsh. Form three groups. So this is the parties that I'm going to be using. Uh, split up the magic users. Put a heavy physical character, or make sure I've got at least one heavy physical character in each party. Uh, slash tanky character. And this is going to be my kind of seek and destroy party. So I'm going to be moving around with them to go confront enemies so I can steal items, learn rages, and level up. Um, two of my lower level characters who are also required for the next section of the game. Um, these two parties are going to be left back to defend. Uh, the brothers are should be able to deal with most enemies on their own, and with Cyan's faster sword tech uh, in this version, plus Celis's magic, I think we should be good on that front as well. Um, the other nice thing with this party is that we're going to be able to leave them pretty much in the back row, which should allow us to kind of minimize how much healing actually needs to be done, or reduce the damage they take uh, in general. So, let's do this. Here they come. New music. I love all the new music in this. Like, all the choices have been great for the different towns and for... Uh, the different sections that we've had to deal with. Okay, so we're gonna get... Tear up past this point. We're gonna block off the two entrances. Uh, real quick. So, Earring Black Belt. Hyper uh, Wrist True Knight. Hyper Black Belt. Hyper Black Belt is kind of my go to. She's got the Rune Sword. That's kind of weird music. They did say some of it might be glitchy. That's unfortunate. Uh, green Popery Earring. Genji Glove. Hyper Wrist. Hyper Wrist Silver Specs. We want to make sure he doesn't miss. Like I said, we're just going to kind of use these guys as a search and destroy. That is really screwed up music. Oh well. We'll get through it. Once I've verified whether or not these guys are worth stealing from, that'll be great. Uh, we've got the Rage, which is one of the things I want to make sure I got. Did not get the Fireball on our first try this time, which means we get a second Steal chance. <clears throat> Enemy has no items. Perfect.
I know we want to steal from, uh, Trace for this. Sounds very um Is this this is from Okay, I understand what the problem is, I think, as well. Uh I think this is from Final Fantasy Tactics. And if that's the case, that could explain very easily why there's a problem, because it's trying to play or because it's a version of a um PlayStation music trying to play on the Super Nintendo engine. Like, I'm sure they had to recode it, but that could explain why it sounds so funky. That's unfortunate. As I mentioned, they did mention that there were some music glitches. Uh, it sounded like they were, like they had a solution to it. Um, nice high potion. Um, so I will have to check into that and see if there is a workaround that I can do. if Petrifying Beak finishes this guy off. Never mind. We're almost at full health still. Definitely want to steal from this guy. Uh, if we don't steal from this guy... Correction. We are going to steal from this guy. <laughs> like, I am going to intentionally not do too much until we steal from him successfully, because I think he drops a really good item. I want to say it's either... Yeah, there we go. Mithril Vest. <clears throat> See if this works. quickly heal Terra because uh, she is almost dead.
Brain is actually good in this game, so we'll do that. Unfortunately, Block took a death, so he didn't get that experience, which is really unfortunate, because again, he's the one who needs it the most. good here? It's good here. There we go. Enemies are probably going to start getting to our back row now, so we do want to get to Kefka as soon as we can. This combo should kill them. Which is good. Can't remember if that's a good thing or not. High ether, that was worth it. Okay. Um, and let's go with. I think we just want him using physicals, so we're gonna go straight back. <clears throat> Starting with a drain because she got hit. Basically, if Terra gets hit, we're gonna use drain. Otherwise, we're gonna go with uh, probably fire. Here. That's another alternative. Poison hurts. Um, but I do think we need to get... I think we need to ignore it for now. We don't have time to heal everybody with that. Terra was almost out of MP, so we're gonna Aether. Uh, we're gonna toss another cure, and I think this is not working as well as I was hoping for Gao. So, yeah, I think we're just gonna have Terra heal, lock attack for now, and see what happens. Hope that uh, Gao gets a lucky hit in. do as much damage as I was hoping. Uh, might be because he's still in the back row, which would actually make a lot of sense. Uh, we'll toss another cure down, because Demi takes out half our health. Uh, Gao does have True Knight on, so he should be able to jump in front for physical attacks. I forgot about the fact that Kefka just uses magic. We probably should have had Zealous with us for Runic Blade, um, but that's okay. Poison shouldn't do anything else, or just minimal effects. Uh, definitely curing here, and then probably having Locke follow up with a potion on himself. Uh, Gao is actually the one who needs the most at this point. I might actually burn that X potion on him here. Yeah, we chose the wrong rage. He's not doing much damage. I 
I mean, it's doing something. It's not like it's not doing damage. It's just not doing as much as I would like. We'll go with that. <laughs> and we're pretty stable again. Um... <clears throat> may actually, since we are... I'm assuming that's... yeah. Gets rid of all stat specs. Perfect. That's not good. That's also not good. gonna be... Uh, I think we're going to burn the other cure-all on Gao. That's fine. She can still use items from that state. As long as this doesn't kill anyone. As long as this doesn't kill Terra or Gao, <laughs> I guess. That should make it so Gao can actually hit again. Because I he stopped attacking. Or he stopped being able to hit with his attacks rather. Um We're gonna use an elixir on Terra. Even though she's a frog. That'll restore HP and MP. Hefka's starting to use physical attacks randomly. Um, high potion. That's problematic. I guess we'll see. Well, unless Gal pulls a miracle out of his hat right now, we're probably in trouble. That's a good start. That is not. Okay. Oh! That doesn't actually result in a death. Okay. We're okay. We can try again. And now I have a better idea of what I need to prepare for. Um, so when I get up close again, I will rearrange a bit. And we will definitely be picking a different, uh, rage. Let's see if I actually pulled off Phoenix Dance for the... First time in, however. So, downside. 
I have lost my X potion, one of my elixirs, and both of my curals. Good news, we know what we're dealing with. Um, be immune to Mute and Toad. We're going to have him be immune to Poison. Uh, keeping up with his... So Poison is percentage-based, so it's based on your maximum hit points. That's why Gal was taking like 100 damage from Poison, and the others were only taking like 40. Um, so having Gao immune to Poison is actually really good. Um, and then I think we're gonna have Locke do immune to... what do we have? We may actually have him be immune to poison also. Yeah, that works. Good, or of what stuff we've fought that would be good against Kafka here. is probably not going to be taking status effects. I mean, honestly, I think Stray Cat wasn't a bad one. I think I just need Gao and Akankra. So we'll go with that plan for now and see if it works. Because this is good for multi-hit, but not great for solo. I don't think we're going to be getting status effects, like I said, so something like Pochu isn't going to be as good as it could be otherwise. say genuinely at this point, uh, Cyan and Celis may actually be a better match for Kefka. Runic and Jagged Dance feels like it would go a real long way, but I would prefer to have the party with three. Okay, 
let's try again. Uh, let's do better. Try straight cat again, because I'm pretty sure that that's still good. Um, we'll do a potion on Terra. Kick should do 500? Why is he missing that? Um, that is really obnoxious. Okay, so the bottom two are immune to poison. Para is not. Terra use... there we go. And yes, that did double the damage did last time, which was the goal of moving to the front row. I guess now that I'm thinking about another option, would have probably just been to uh, give him the boomerang and leave him in the back row, but I feel like Kafka does few enough physical attacks that it should be fine. So that means that Kitty Kick should do 500 instead of 250. Ugh. Okay. Stop. <laughs> Why is he missing so much suddenly? Okay, we're gonna use a high potion just for the sake of it. Like, I don't think he missed once that first time through. I feel like I should have the sniper eye on Dao. Which is annoying because I didn't know that was a thing I needed to be concerned about. Looks like there's two phases to this fight as well. Um, he hasn't started using his Thundara and stuff yet. There we go.
get Gal back up close to full. Kitty Kick is still doing work, so I think this is not a terrible choice still, as long as it keeps hitting. Uh, let's do an Aether on Terra. We should be getting close. Maybe not. <laughs> We're gonna spam Cure still. We're not to the Toad Bio stuff yet, which is where I'm slightly more concerned. But Terra can't be muted or toated now. That's problematic. Um, I almost feel like what we should actually do for this fight... I wonder if you can just do two parties. There we go. Don't think you've won. The... Okay. So, Gao in the front row made the difference. Uh, some status effects... Or some uh, status resistance also made a huge difference with those relics. Where's the Esper? Is it all right? Tara, what is it? No! Okay. I also misspoke earlier. I said I was putting Terra in the party because she is required in the next section, and it's quite the opposite. Uh, she is not in the next section because she is leaving the party right here. Um, so I actually should have totally used Celtics. <laughs> Who am I? Who? Esper, it's responding to her. Get away from that thing. That scream has always been so... Like, it is very hard to listen to. It is very unpleasant. Um, and I feel like that's intentional. <laughs> that's right. Okay, so Hera flies down to Sozo. Um, we need to follow her. Uh, we should be able to get Shadow again. So, lock out. Sell a shadow? Yeah. Where's Tara? She turned into uh, something and flew off. She looked like. She looked like an asp. Lock, are you okay? Okay. Something happened to Terra. There must be some sort of connection between her and that Esper. We need to find her. Wis witnesses said she went streaking westward across the sky beyond Figaro. Gotta hurry. I promised I'd protect her. Lock. Let's not get ahead of ourselves. The Emperor Empire will be back for the Esper. Someone needs to protect Banner. Have to split up. Those who aren't searching for terror will stay in guard. Figure Castle can shuttle others to the western province. It shouldn't be hard to track down clues in Kulingan or Jadur about Terra's whereabouts. Okay. So we want Lock. Celis. Dao. And I think that's who we're going to use here. 
Uh, I do want to double check real quick. That's what I was afraid of. Okay. So, first thing we're going to do is actually do the opposite of that. to what we were originally planning, Lock Celis Gao. Um, this will give us the ability to teach Gao his rages. It'll give... Uh, it'll keep a magic user in our party. Celis is also required for the next section of the game question. Yeah, for the Opera House section. Um, right? Am I misremembering? I am misremembering. Section after that. Um, and then lock so he can steal items. We're good with his equipment. We'll rearrange hers a bit. Mithril vest, Magus hat. And I think we're good there. Hyper wrist, black belt. Earrings and we just want earrings black belt. Earrings peace ring. That feels okay. Hyper wrist. Uh, true knight. And we have gone way beyond time here. So I'm going to quickly run to a save point. There is a bunch of stuff that we need to do at the point. Uh, we have access to Narsh for the first time. Uh, like full access to Narsh for the first time. Uh, we have access to... Uh, hopefully go back to South Figaro. I want to go get Shadow first. Um, so we're going to... Travel to Figaro, travel to Kolingen, get Shadow, go to the pubs to get side quests, go to Narsh, because I think Arvis has side quests. I'm not sure if they're now or later. Um, get Mog. There's a bunch. That's really where I'm at. There's a bunch of stuff to do. So that'll start next time. The world is opening up to us. We finally have some side quests. Uh, I am really excited to see what this game has to offer. So hopefully you are enjoying. If you are, please give me a like and subscribe. Check out the other content on my channel. If you have any questions or suggestions, please leave them in the comments. And as always, have a good one. We'll catch you next time.